Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shemaine and I do lipstick swatches. Today's video is about LA Girls Glossy Lip Plumping Gloss. I have seven of them here and they all come in a variety of shades that you can see. I purchased these on Ulta.com. You can also get these in store. However, there are two shades that are only available online which are these two shades right here. The first one is Sumptuous and the second one is Juicy. These two shades you will not find in store. You will have to go online to purchase them. So in total, there are seven shades that come in the collection. So if you wanna see how these swatch, then make sure you stay tuned and I will also give a recap at the end as well. The first shade I'm going to start with is called Plush. These actually do have a very sweet smelling scent. Uh, maybe a little bit too perfumey. That's what I'm getting at first, but we shall see um, if that scent actually lasts for a minute. Ooh, I am feeling that tingling sensation already. So that's really what a lip plumping gloss does. It somehow kind of increases the circulation in that area, which makes everything look a little plumper. Ooh. I do have to say though that that tingling sensation, it's, it's definitely kicking in. The sensation is really getting stronger, but I don't mind it because I personally do love that tingling sensation. So yeah. Next shade up is called Extra. Extra is a shimmery pink lip gloss. Seems like it has a little bit of a holographic effect to it. This one feels a little thicker than the first one. Um, yeah, the formula is just, I think, a little bit too, too thick. I don't know if I like that very much but I do enjoy that fun holographic touch to it. I think this will be a cute lip gloss to wear in the evening or nighttime because of that very beautiful shimmer effect. This is what it looks like. Next shade up is called Fancy and Fancy is a golden shimmery color. This one is a little bit more sheer, but you can still see the shimmers in the gloss. But I don't know if I would wear this over a lipstick though. Just because of how thicker the formula is, I don't think it'll be a great idea to wear over lipstick. I feel like it'll make your lipstick smear a lot because the formula is pretty, it's, it's kind of thick, yeah. So this would be a perfect shade for someone who's not looking for too much color in their gloss, but just more so looking for the plumping effect. And this would be a great shade for that. Okay, now we're on to the fourth shade. This one is called Juicy, and this is also the shade that you can only purchase online. So guys, you will not find this in store. You have to go to Ulta.com and order this shade. And like I expected, look at how that pigment showed up. Showed up and it showed out. It 
this color is amazing. I love how it shows up. I love how it complements me. And let me tell you, the lip plumping sensation is like, whoa, it's really tingly. So if you're not a fan of that sensation, you'll probably not like these, but I do enjoy that tingly sensation that I get. It shows that the plumping gloss is working to give you the effect of fuller looking lips. But I have nothing bad to say about this shade Juicy. It's a gorgeous looking nude lipstick with a good pigment punch there. So I do enjoy this one a lot. Okay, so now we're down to shade number five and this one is called Lavish. This one is somehow giving me that metallic vibe or finish. It's pretty interesting. I've never had a lip plumping gloss that has like a metallic finish or effect and I do like it. It's given, it looks really like metallic to me, which I think is pretty interesting in a good way. It's different and I like it. It might just be the color, but just the way it reflects light, it gives it like mm, a metallic finish. And I don't know if I'm just the only one seeing that, but I think that's pretty cool. I also like that the colors that you see in the tube, it's actually swatching like that color. You know how sometimes whatever you see in the tube is totally different from what actually swatches in reality but I think they're pretty consistent here with the colors because if you look at this, this gives off that shimmery metallic effect and that's actually what I see on my lips. This is a keeper. The sixth shade is called Sumptuous and this is also another shade that's only available online at Ulta.com. I think this is really gonna be another good shade. I can tell it just really swatched real nicely on the back of my hand, so that really did give me a lot of hope. So. And like I had imagined, I figured the shade would be popping on my lips. I love the dark colors giving me life right now. I am so happy with the shade ranges of these plumping glasses. It's unbelievable. They do have great pigment and they are showing up and showing out. So when I find shade ranges like these, I just don't know how to express my joy. I want to dance. I want to jump. I want to do backflips. It's just a whole range of emotions. I just run through me it's like oh my gosh finally and I also feel like this is a shade that would work on someone of a darker complexion than I because that's just how richly pigmented they are like the proof is in the pudding or the tube you know if you want to get all technical but the proof is here guys uh, the proof is here And lastly, but not leastly, we have this beautiful berry shade. And this, my friends, is called Grand. Grand. Take a second and look at how gorgeous this shade is. Look at the pigment it carries. I just have no words. There is nothing left to say. I like the color variation in this set. And to finish it off with this bright, bold, beautiful color, I think they did a great job. Okay guys, so now for a little recap of our plumping lip glosses here from LA Girl. I do have to say I am shocked at the results of these. And I was also pretty impressed. 
I do love the shade ranges that they offer. I do know some companies, they're still struggle busting with shade ranges, but I do think that LA Girl definitely killed it with these plumping glosses as far as the shade ranges. In my opinion, I think they scored very high with that. And especially for a plumping gloss, normally plumping glosses don't come in like that many shade ranges. The only one that I know of and that I personally used myself is that one from uh, L'Oreal. I think it's their plumping lip creme. I should have one here because Yes, so it is the, oh, it's actually Revlon. So it's Revlon Kiss Plumpin' Lip Cremes. These also do come in a variety of shades, but again, these are not a gloss, these are a creme. So, but they also do work great. I can put the link for this video in the description box below. But these are also a, a great option if you're looking for a plumping gloss with a little bit more color or pigment. So yeah, I do love the color ranges of these. And like I was saying, typically plumping glosses usually come in a sheer or translucent finish. Like the Too Faced, Too Faces, Too, how do you say that? Too Faced, Too Faced, oh my gosh, how do you say Too Faced with the apostrophe S? I don't know, Too Faced Lip Injection, that's a sheer one and also Boxum Lip Polish Plumping Glosses. They also have a color range, but for the most part, the, the color is still swatch very translucent. So as far as the price, they do go for $4.12 on Ulta, which I think is pretty decent for a plumping gloss. It's still a lot less than Too Faced's, Too Faced lip injection and it's still a lot less expensive than Boxums as well or even the Revlon. So this is the most affordable one that I've purchased so far. As far as the formula, I think they kind of lost a little points for me there because the formula is a little thicker. I mean Boxums is kind of thick as well but um this just had that really thick consistency that I really didn't care for. It f also felt a bit heavy on my lips, but even though the formula is thicker, girl, the tingling sensation, the plumping effect, it's out of this world. It just immediately, you felt that tingling sensation on your lips. And you can tell right away that it's working. So it's very strong, which might be a turn off for some people. So if you don't like that strong of a tingling sensation, a good one to try is the plumping gloss from Essence. I also did a video on that recently. That one is just a subtle tingling sensation. You can barely feel anything. But this one is like an electric shock. This one comes at you immediately, which I don't mind. I love that tingling sensation. So um, yeah, it does have a very good plumping effect. So if you do have smaller lips, these are excellent for you. I mean, I think I was generously blessed with lips. I probably wouldn't need a plumping effect. I just need a good old high shine lip gloss. But now and again, when you want to make it a little bit more juicy, it's always good to have a plumping gloss right around the corner. So I think they are excellent for getting that real plumping effect or to make it seem like you have, you know, fuller looking lips. That's really the idea behind plumping glosses to give you that effect without the needles. You know what I'm talking about. But anyways, yeah. So that was, so they kind of lost points for me as far as the, the formula and how thick it was. Uh, when it comes to the scent of it, there wasn't, there was a scent. It was more, it was more perfumey, but it wasn't an overpowering type of perfumey scent. It was something that I could deal with. So um, even now, I really don't smell it. It's gone. It disappeared into the cloud, wherever it goes. But yeah, I can't smell anything. So it's, when I first watched it, you do smell it and it's pleasant. And afterwards, it just goes wherever it goes. So overall, I am pretty impressed with this plumping lip gloss shade. 
Um, oh, the hair test, it's thick and it will stick to your hair. So, like I was saying, I'm not a fan of how thick the formula is. So what you can do is just probably use one or two layers so it doesn't feel that heavy on your lips, which is what I will do just because I don't like how you know, thick the consistency of the formula is. Hopefully you guys can make a more informed decision about what shades may or may not work for you. I did enjoy them myself. They're four bucks and 12 cents. So if you're thinking about getting a shade or two from the collection, I would say go for it. Chances are the shades will work out for you. But that's all I got for you guys. If you like this video, make sure to go ahead and subscribe so you never miss a lipstick swatch video from me. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you in my next lipstick swatch video. Bye!